right now I'm in the Marriott Marquis. Marquis? I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm waiting for my friend. I haven't seen her in two months, and it's so weird because I'm used to seeing her every day, several times a day, spending more than like eight hours with her. So, yeah, I'm just super excited to link up with my friend. And we're gonna spend the day together. She's visiting from OKC. Um, yeah. Look who's here! I linked with my girl Jordan. I was telling them like I haven't seen you in two months, and it's so weird we're dying. because we see each other like every day for several every several times a day. day. But yeah, so we're about to go have some fun. Um, I guess we'll talk to you guys once we're like at the place that we're going to. Yeah. All right. So cute in here already, and we literally just stepped in. Like we haven't even checked in. Yeah. It's so cute. Okay. different rosé tastings from across the globe. Skip and explore as you learn about the history, culture, and science behind your favorite favorite. Your flight time through the tasting rooms is expected to be approximately 60 to 90 minutes. Now sit back and enjoy the flight. right here in the mansion. So, welcome to the great room. Obviously, you just pushed your way through a load of red grapes. It is red grapes that makes rosé pink, okay? It's actually the skin that turns it pink. The longer the skin soaks in the wine, the pinker your wine becomes. That's your first little factoid of the day. It's your chalice of loveliness. It is yours for now and ever more, okay? Into this, you will get eight different pools of rosé. They will be answers, okay? We want you to be able to tell the difference between champagne and apple cider vinegar, okay? So, <laughs> have yourself a glass. Head on over here, guys. Thank you so much. So, I'm here to teach you a little bit about the wine making process. We have been making wine for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, but we've only been any good at it for about the past 160 years. And that is because way back when wine was getting people really, really ill and really sick, and even caused a couple fatalities. And that is because there was a bad bacteria that was showing up during the winemaking process. And Louis Pasteur was the one who found that out for us. I look bald, guys. I have something back here, right? I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm gonna do it. Yes. Oh, this one don't have one either. You're gonna love this one, Jordan. You the whole thing and then you edit it. Yeah. Jordan's gonna love this one right here. Oh! Yeah. Oh!
trick is to stand on that middle peg and act like you're falling. All right, this is the New York room. New York is a major producer of rosé. There's four major regions. The two most important are Finger Lakes and Long Island. What do they have in common? Water. Thank you. Water creates the perfect microclimate to grow rosé. So who's from Long Island? It's OK. Let's shout out Long Island.
at the end. That was fun AF. <laughs> Highly yeah. recommended. Highly. Highly. Five stars. Ooh, five. Nah, it's, th it's 30. It's not going nowhere. Turn to me. Hey! Hey! So we made it to the brunch spot. We're ready to dig in because we are freaking hungry. Excited. 